What led to the identification of the Resorts World attack suspect? Our Rex Romito takes us through the events. A white Avanza taxi arrives at Resorts World on Friday at 7 minutes past 12 in the morning. The hotel's CCTV footage then captures a tall man alighting the taxi. He's wearing plain clothes and carrying a backpack. He enters the mall casually walking and looking harmless. He then takes an elevator going to the parking area. Two women beside him, but he does nothing. As soon as he alights at the second floor, he dons his mask and wears his ammunition vest. As he enters the mall, he bypasses the metal detector. An unarmed security guard tries to stop him, but that's when he brandishes his baby Armalite. Everyone is now panicking and running away as he makes his way through the prosperity court. He's now unstoppable. Upon entering the casino area, he fires what seem to be warning shots. He then goes to another casino area full of gaming tables. He douses the tables with gasoline and torches them up which causes the fire that eventually killed 37 employees and guests. He also lights up tables in a private salon. He proceeds to bar 180 where he fires shots again and burns an LED TV, a carpet and several slot machines in the area. He then goes to the area behind the cashier. He forcibly opens the so-called bank of chips. After he enters, the police say he tries to look for cash but to no avail. He then spots and places high denomination chips into his bag. These are worth more than 100 million pesos. The police say the gunman tries to escape. But the combined forces of the police and hotel security are already downstairs. Just like a hot pursuit scene in an action movie. At 1.10 a.m., a security guard spots him and hides in a corner before they shoot it out. The gunman then goes upstairs limping. The police say he was already wounded by a gunshot at this moment. His face is also bloody. Even if he's having a hard time walking, he still tries to get to the fifth floor. As he arrives, he tries to enter room 501 by firing several shots on the door lock. He also lights up the floor linen of the hallway, which causes thick black smoke to obscure the CCTV camera. As the security forces arrive, that's when they find the gunman lifeless. His charred remains beyond recognition. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.